Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Long black clothes, 1975. This is xenon, which is a chemical element, I believe, and also in this case, a vertical scrolling shoot 'em up by Melbourne House, released in 1987, but obviously developed by the legendary Bitmap. Brothers. It was released on a bunch of stuff, but as far as I can tell, the 16-bit versions were first, and I believe the Atari ST version was first. It's a classic game, which is why I have to do a gameplay of it, and my brother had it on both his ST, which is where I first played it, and on his Amiga. There's a brilliant 1-8K port on the Spectrum, which I have a gameplay of. There's also an MSX, a Commodore 64, and an Amstrad CPC version. Like most people, I became aware of this because it was on a kid's Saturday morning TV show called Get Fresh where kids would phone in and they would play this game uh, how they controlled it. I can't honestly remember I should have looked up on YouTube but a bunch of these sort of games we saw on you know Saturday morning kids shows such as Get Fresh and also um, First Class or Top of the Class First Class which was showed us hyper sports and paperboy and stuff like that uh, I love these Saturday morning kids shows they are the thing of the past now because obviously kids have dedicated TV channels and streaming services and whatnot but it was kind of a big deal back in the day and this game got absolutely fantastic reviews for two reasons one the graphics are superb and the music is absolutely amazeable. Two things that you would expect by a game from the Bitmap Brothers. So anyway, according to the game's manual, um, you are the role of Darian, a future space pilot in the Federation. Your Federation's currently at war with a mysterious and violent alien species called the Zenites. And this war has lasted over a decade. In response to a melee transmission from Captain Zod, with an X, following attack on his trading fleet, Darian has forced to travel through the Zenite occupied territory in order to support um, um, I guess the bloke who called in the, you know, SOS. Now, you have two modes uh, of your ship, or two modes of attack, which you can see here. You're a tank that I always thought looked like the Millennium Falcon, or you can fly uh, in a spaceship. And there are both ground uh, enemies and there are aerial enemies, so you juggle between the both. And then there are bosses. To be fair, I've never, ever gotten off level one. That's on the spectrum, though. Never played it on the Amiga. So, let's get into it. I'm assuming it's just fire. Obviously, most people probably know this for its uh, sequels, and on 2 Mega Blast, because of the... I love that in the corner of the face of its amazing music by Bomb the Bass, the sample music. But you could argue, since this is written by them, you know, from the ground up, it's not samples, or well, probably uses samples, but technically it's more impressive. Anyway, there's Guff on the right hand side, uh, lets you know what the game is in case you've already forgotten, and I'm assuming, is that orange thing my health? I don't know. Fire? Oh, crikey, it's the Rosers who come for me. Every time I play a game, someone breaks the law. Right, there we go. And then they always turn their fucking sirens and their tubes and blues off once they pass my house. Okay, here you go. I remember watching it on this kid's TV show and being blown away by little things like the explosions and stuff and how shiny and fantastic it was. Oh, he can't, can he? Oh, hang on. I forgot what, what button does what. That's fire. That's transform. And once, so that is my health, the orange one, when I'm in tank mode, when I transform, uh, that's my health, in blue, transform back. Obviously you can only shoot those turrets uh, that are on top of platforms, when that music is absolutely kick-ass, uh, when you are in plane mode. So this is really unique at the time. But yeah, like I said, 987, I was in Master System territory. Um, but still, you know, so I was, you know, I was above ZX Spectrum Town and stuff like that. But this is just like unlike anything I've ever seen. Right, these you have to be on the floor. Well, now the controls are nice and tight. It's just as you would expect from a Bitmap Brothers game, it's a bit hard. But then we were made of sterner stuff back then. Unfortunately, <coughs> excuse me. 
Uh, unfortunately, it's now, and I'm no longer made of sterner stuff, because I'm an adult and therefore have no gaming skills whatsoever that, you know, are uh, needed in order to play a game of this merit. Oh, look. Cool. Does that... Yep, so you got power-ups. Now, your aircraft, because I'm calling it an aircraft now, seems to be able to take out both ground-based and uh, aerial-based turrets. But not the ladybirds, because that's what I'm calling them. Yoink. Right. Oh, that was help. So it's it's, uh, it's quite forthcoming with help. I'm very much... Um, glad of that. Now, controversial, if you take music out of it, I would say graphically this looks better and certainly, um, you know, plays a lot better, more forgiving in fact, and tighter controls than Xenon 2 Mega Blast, which I have a comparison of, of the Amiga, obviously not running on this, this was, that was running on my OG um, Xbox, for quite a take, and uh, against the Mega Drive version, which is, well, you would expect the music to be shizen, but compared, which it is, but they're both pretty packed. Not gonna lie, take nostalgia, scrape the nostalgia out of your eyes. And yeah, we can admit, Xenon 2 Mega Blast is not a very good game. I also have a gameplay of it on the Sharp X68000. Obviously, that's through emulation, because I'm not fucking loaded. Oh! Now, the screen's really small, I have no idea why. So, I mean, I, I have to go to aerial attack, so that takes out the ground one. But yeah. For some reason, regardless of the settings I do, <coughs> I mean, this is year one of the A500, 87? I don't know, it's a question because I've raised my voice at the end. Um, if this is early days, is this, you know, like playing around with resolutions and shit? Mm -hmm. uh, can't drive over the uh, turret's cold, dead, twitching corpse. But, oh, hello. And, that's interesting, the body. Not, not for them, but block my, uh, my shots. That's just not cricket. Oh, look at this. Aerial attack from fighters. Have we had fighters until now? I can't remember how far. It didn't seem to put me back at all then. Right, we're going... Oh, I'm absolutely shafted. Yeah, it didn't put put me back at all. Right, so this is what's good about it. Again, I'm basing all my um, gameplay memories of this, seeing it on Get Fresh. Is that the one with the Millennium Dustbin and Gilbert the Alien? That's sort of British thing to say, or observation. If you're not from Britain, <laughs> then you have no idea what I'm talking about. But they were legendary. Ooh. No, you don't. I love you. Because you're health. No, you're not health, you're a power up. Power ups and health will look exactly the same. Obviously, I'm going to stay in this form because I've got more health. Even though it means I won't be able to shoot some enemies and probably make myself, you know. Oh, oh both healths go the same colour. Right, that's it? I'm dead? Wow, really? Sector 1. But yeah, play, placing my, you know, game playing memories, memories, knowledge of it, I should say, on how to play it on the ZX Spectrum version, which is a very good port. I know. I have no idea what the Commodore version's like. It won't work on my C64 Mini. I keep thinking when they blow up like that, if the fragment, fragments of them hit me, will that take my health? I'm just going to see if I can fly by them. No, they're following me. That seemed to work. Oh, that didn't. Oh, monkey bollocks. How far back did you put me? I don't know why I got... Really? Yeah, so sorry, you're not going to see very much of the level, because I'm shite at this. 
die from if you will. I can admit it. Right, we're gonna take you bastards out from the, from the start. Oh, hang on. Apparently they can't fire A round corners and B diagonally. Be a health. Thank you. That works. It's, there is no time limit, so... Inch your way forward, upward, sideways, I don't know, somewhere. Do I want to not get that? I think I don't want to get that. I think he took that guy's wallet. Obviously there's a bit of strategy there between swapping between ships. Dependent upon who's got worse health, worse health, than the other. That, one of the music effects makes me think I'm, I don't know, it's telling me that you're about to blow up. There we go, that's health. Slowly, slowly. The end boss is a bastard anyway. Well, look at you. Well, look at that. Isn't it a kick-ass guitar? I'm assuming it's guitar. It's the future. Do guitars even exist in the future? Of course they do. I've seen Bill and Ted's. Yeah, the pussy-ass, slowly, slowly catchy monkey uh, approach appears to be the future. Keep pressing the wrong fucking button. Right. I like to think that's a xylophone. That bit there. Oh, it's this fucking bit. New! No, got stuck on shit. Look at you with your multiple fucking turrets coming out and stuff. And all those power ups and no fucking health. Oh, I could shoot those while I'm on the floor. Changes everything. Oh! Which one? Oh, this one has got more health. Boss! Obviously it's a question of learn his pattern, but I can't because I'm shit and that will involve you having to live long enough to learn his pattern. And I can't because I'm shit. <laughs> but this is about revisiting nostalgia. Let's be honest, that's exactly why a bunch of us bought the fucking A5 render in the first place, wasn't it? Me. cooking on gas. What's the point of all these amazing power-ups? Let me change. If you can, use them in tank mode. Or would you have to collect them in tank mode to be able to use them? face anymore because I can't beat him I'm shy but yeah um, this was the stuff of legend one of the first games to let us know at least as a kid even before we all even all my brother I would say had it in this house but other people got them the well the you know 16-bit graphics you know and visuals had arrived anyway as always I'd love to know what you think especially if you remember this on get if you even remember get fresh period but thank you very much for watching and I'll see you later